Hats and ties. Hats That's and your, ties. That was your thing for that a was, long time. That was my thing. I, for I really time. think hats is your thing though, because that has always been you. The hats. I've. It's very rare seeing Chaz without a hat. I want to stop wearing hats. I just never cut my hair. Mm-hmm. Like I just never. I'm just too lazy to cut it. Mm-hmm. If I cut it every two days, I go bald all the time. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is so much work. It's a lot of maintenance and it's very expensive if you're going in. It's too much work, bro. Because I know Tony mm-hmm. was like, just every two. I think he does this every two or three days. I'm like, man. Yeah. And people are like, just do it in the shower. I'm like, man. I don't shower like that. But <laughs> I every don't two, shower. three days. <laughs> you say what? Yeah. Oh, what's the Wolfpack yeah. Runners? Yeah. So major shout out to Sazami. What's the last name? Foray. Major shout out to Sazami Foray. Uh and his Wolfpack Runners. This That's is dope. his merch right here. That's dope. Um I had the opportunity to be a part of his Wolfpack. Did a couple miles at the uh Rose Bowl for wow. a few uh, like a month or so ago. Yeah. Get a t-shirt. That's know? dope. Yeah. They do hikes. Oh my god, that sounds hikes awful. They do hikes every other week. And you get a free t shirt? Mm hmm. Your first run out, you get a t shirt, and then the higher you go up, the yeah. game, get more gear. You get more gear as more you go. Do you get money at all? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Just run. Ah, Just okay. run, yo. Part of the roof pack. I would, I would run for money. Mm-hmm. I would be like, oh, how much am I getting paid to run? <laughs> That sound like a, a crime. Uh, but just to just to work, just to run and just to run. That sounds. That sounds like a. That sounds crazy. Legal activity. People do that. That sounds <laughs> nuts. Run for money. <laughs> no, just run. She's to a run. runner. She's a track star. When I see people out there exercising, they're just running. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you, you guys can do Preparing this. Preparing for the inevitable. Yo, that's the thing though. If you don't run, like if you don't run, you, then you don't run. You, you know mean? what I mean? Like, if, if you don't run, like, if you don't go out and run every day, then you don't run at all. Like, when's the last time you ran? Full speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for you to run full speed if you're not an athlete. Bro, if you don't run, game. you ever see somebody chasing a bus? And you're like, oh, my God, they're <laughs> running. They don't run. You're like, that person does not run. Yeah. Running, running. So, so there is a. When it comes to your body, you have a you have a a memory of muscle mm-hmm. that moves from you walking. Mm-hmm. Then when you jog, there's a little bit more stretch mm-hmm. of that muscle. But when you're running, you're pulling all those muscles without warning, and it's like, yo, you are ripping all these muscles up. And then when you're done, you're like, what happened? I rode a bike uh, 13 miles. Mm-hmm. For the first time in January. Okay. Only thing hurt was all the muscles I never used. Yeah. The only thing that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Which was everything. Was that how you been swimming? Oh, brother. I'm going to tell you how much pain Keep swimming talking. lapses. If you yeah. don't swim. Yeah. And you go swimming like, yeah. ah, I just got to go take a swim. Uh-huh. Bro, your toes will ache. Yeah. You, you, you Cramping. Use, you use everything. Muscle. Yeah. See how I use every not every I didn't say muscle. everything. Everything. Every. Everything mm-hmm. in swimming. It is yep. one of the hardest yeah. uh workouts. Still fun. Absolutely. But it's just tough. Absolutely. You're I can't like, I can't swim properly. I can swim. But you, I can't you swim. Do your little doggy paddle? I can't I can hold my breath. Okay. And do the, <laughs> okay, okay. I can do I can't do the <gasps> Oh uh, yeah, no. The style you got to train for that. <laughs> yeah, when you come up with, I I, I can. <laughs> <laughs> and then go back up. <laughs> That's solid though. Mm-hmm. I can do that. I just hate that. I be trying to swim, and mm-hmm. I think like I go into water like I'm going. So I'll be like, I ain't I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> How am I still? Yo, when you I'm first came up that wall, don't it feel like you were oh, Aquaman? You, be- <laughs> <laughs> you hear it in your ear like. <laughs> Come up, be in the middle of the lane. <laughs> I swear, I went all the way. Down. That's got to be all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah. I told myself a couple of times. I know you did. I know everyone has done this. You, you tell yourself like, I'm gonna hold this wall. <laughs> I'm going to kick all the way across without coming up. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. And then you be like, 
you be like, you be like this, like <laughs> wait for it. Like, it's gotta be here soon. Like all I see is blue. Get up. Whoa, well, wait on it. Did I get turned around? Yeah, yeah. He be like, did I get turned? <laughs> Cause I'm close to this end. <laughs> Maybe I lapped it. I came back. No, you're yeah, the same. Yeah. Me and my buddy, who actually taught me how to swim, he we used to dive. We would, like deep dive all the time. And it was like, mm-hmm. I think his pool was like ten feet or something like that, right? Well, so there was times when I first tried to like grab something off the bottom, and you know, you had to kind of look and get used to the bleach in your eyes. <laughs> get I was used like, to the I was like, bro, I'm gonna die. It's not bleach, man. But in, in like not in the like oh, in the pool. It's not bleach. no, not bleach. It's chlorine. Uh, chlorine. My bad. Whatever. <laughs> <You're> dead. <laughs> Yeah, I take bleach on this. Anyways, I would go to the bottom and then I'll be trying to come up. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I didn't think I was going to make mm-hmm. it. There's a couple of times I'm like, oh, we used to wrestle all the time right. in the water. So stupid, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to pull each other down. Right. You can so. do, you, you're supposed to only do that in the three feet. No, we would be in the deep end. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I do not know. I do not know. This sounds very ignorant, mm-hmm. but I do not know how do people drown. I know the 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 idea, the logic of it, okay. but I don't know if you're just kicking your arms and legs. How does that pull you down? Because that that essentially keeps you up. Wait, what do you mean? Because if you're doing this, yeah, you're you're moving, but off, if you're kicking your legs, you're keep, you're pushing yourself up. Well, none of those have anything to do with drowning. It's just you didn't the make water, it up in time, <laughs> or the water gets in your throat. That's what you have. Like, you choke. Like, I can't swim. I was like, you're swimming. When people drown, they choke. Right, they just choke on water mm-hmm. for the most part. There's mm-hmm. water. It was fine. There's water in his lungs. Yeah, it's because they had to open their mouth. You just, you just can't hold your breath that long. Mm-hmm. But there's those guys. I always wanted to train those cats who they can hold their breath for like seven minutes, mm-hmm. like those Navy right. Seals and stuff like yeah. that. Be all calm on the water. Yeah, dog. If you can hold your breath for minutes, yeah. you're doing great. Mm-hmm. And you're good at cunnilingus. <laughs> 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 he hasn't came up once. <laughs> Navy SEALs, baby. He said, I want my baby, 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 baby. baby. <laughs> Why is fellatio and catalinga so difficult to say? Fellatio? It, it, yeah, it's, I mean, fellatio is fun, but catalinga is, is such a. Because you're not supposed to do it. That's why you're not supposed to do it. You think no, it's because, because women's catalinga is, is always, especially growing up, it was shunned upon. Right, mm-hmm. like it wasn't a thing where you're supposed to do that. It was like, yo, real men don't do that. Right, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of lingus. So no one knew or could find or know what it was. Right. You think it's created? Like, it's, 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 only nigga that does that is kind of lingus ass over there. You like, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? Well, it makes. I don't know what kind of means. Okay, kinda but lingua means. maybe okay. is tongue, right? Latin, Ooh. I think. Well, lingua means tongue in Spanish. Really? Yeah. Lingus. So okay. that's why I'm thinking like kind of lingus, maybe oh. one of those Latin variations. Maybe cala means. I think it's cana. I think it's C U N N. Cana lingus. Eh? Hey? Can you look up what cana is? Can you look up cunna, the origin of cana lingus? And we'll erase your uh, browser history so your <laughs> so your boss. Still this see is my work up. computer. Just getting flagged <laughs> at Netflix. Cana <laughs> cana lingus. Uh, See if we break that down. And fellatio, if it, it literally flows, fellatio sounds nice. Would you like to be fellatioed? <laughs> <laughs> fellatio, yeah. fellatio sounds like a dope Spanish dude. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, fellatio? <laughs> Man, he always got these girls to go down on him. How does he do it? I don't know. They just, <laughs> He's a they just come. They come. They just go down on my. I I don't control it. I don't tell them to do. They just they just come. They the night just come. come and then I. <laughs> <laughs> Fellatio! I'm trying to be like fellatio, bro. So, Cunis? Cunis? Latin for vulva. Vulva. For, for vagina. Kinda. Cola. And Was it how the cunna is? Latin for vagina. Okay. And then lingari to lick. Yep, makes sense. Is Latin, uh, Latin as well. There you go. All right. There but it so, is. Vulva so is cunna. Cunna? Cunis. Is Cunis. Latin for vulva. vulva. Specifically, not the whole vagina. Yeah, yeah. Vulva. Just the vulva. I, don't, I, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know what a vulva is. Let me look at the vulva is. I thought. I thought. Is that a clit? That's the main part, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the vulva? What's the vulva? I, I feel know. like I'm an ignorant. It's the inner lips. Yeah. I have no idea. Vulva. So I thought that was a car. The Latin properly would translate one who licks a vulva. 
One who licks a vulva. One. What if it's m- multiple people? <laughs> uh, vulva, vulva, cunnilingus, yeah, uh, gui, guy. <laughs> I'm a cunnilingus guy. I cunnilingus. It's like octopus. I cunnilingus. Con, cunnilingus. How you spell vulva? V u l v a. V u v l a. V u l v a. Why did you just hear whatever you wanted to hear right there? <laughs> I typed in v u l v a. Uh huh. But what's the R? Is he one of R? Is it our own vulva or cancer? Vulva or cis? Just hit vulva. Just okay. Vulva, the outer part of the female genitals. The outer part? What is happening, man? I don't know a vagina. It's the outer part. It's the skin. But I thought that was the... Uh, That's the part we're not supposed to lick, right? That's the part right, that got dirt on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You're supposed to peel it open like a banana. What is happening? Who, who, did, who named this wrong? Oh, man. I guess, but also, Dan, it makes sense if it was Latin. They were doing this a long time ago. Absolutely, it's came a long way since then. Yeah, whatever it's, the inner part of a kind of kidney, kidney is probably very different now. It would be a Latin term. Okay, I want to break this down. The labia is the labia. Oh, that looks like an awful. Oh, that is not a good. <laughs> hey example. man, stop, man. That one is not cute. So, oh. so how was that? Nah, stop. See, look, they have a whole picture of a vagina. If they would have showed me that vagina in school, I would never would have smacked. That thing looks like a monster. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, that's there's, gross. There's a lot of women on here that's following. They don't need to. No. Oh. Don't need. Listen, listen. In this description. Look at the little point to the bow. <laughs> <laughs> Dion picked the world's worst. No, I did not. Vagina for a I demonstration. Did not. It's it literally has description. It oh, has this the... is like peeled all the. It's like six layers in this thing. How does it keep talking oh. about? Stop, man. This is a lot of women's vagina look like this. Yeah, right? but in this picture, in this description, it does not say anything about the Volvo. It has the public Why area. Why is it inside out? <laughs> what do you mean? The vagina is inside out. open up the lips. It has the public pup pubic area, the clitoris, the urethra, the labia majoria. How you say it? I don't know. The labia majoria, outer oh, lips, gross. the labia minoria, oh. inner lips, vagina opening. Oh, I don't know what that is. Per uh, pernerium. Mm, that's a butthole. No, it's not. Oh, it's, anus, it's a space anus in between the butthole, the butthole right? The vulva of all of it. It includes the opening of the vagina, the labia majora, the labia minora, and the clit. There's too many parts, yo. So you're supposed to lick all this. I got one part. <laughs> Somebody said put the picture. Will I get flagged if I put the yeah, picture on? Don't, don't put the picture up. <laughs> <laughs> they said you better not put the picture up. You better not put <laughs> just Google it. Just Google it, y'all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the funny thing is, it wasn't a guy. Candace was like, "Yeah, show yeah, it, it, it up. Go and show it up." Yeah. Candace about to compare her. <laughs> Hold on, let me mm-hmm. see. That's not right. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I don't have half these parts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any of these things on the label. <laughs> Cats has a mirror. Cats is up leg, legs up with a mirror. With a... <laughs> Where the guy does it? <laughs> oh, this time I've been thinking I identified as a woman, but <laughs> I got balls and penis. <laughs> Wait a guy! Wait a minute! <laughs> I got some explaining to my husband. Hey, Mom, <laughs> he said I was a boy, a girl. <laughs> I'm just discovering now <laughs> from Lacaroni and Jazz that this is. Oh man! Oh my God! Damn uh, it! That damn it! That how many beard grow so? Oh, oh yeah! Right here. From the that's why I hear from going down. That's why mm-hmm. Dion got this beard growing, yeah. huh? Beer gang. I'm fresh face, man. I don't do that hey, shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I don't do that shit, man. Hey. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, that was a good talk. I don't know how we got it. Felatio and Catalingus. Filthy and educational. Gotta hey, love these there two. There you go. There you go, man. War riding applause. Um, yeah, that one was just a gross vagina in general. It was not, man. Was, all man. vaginas are different. I, yeah, that one was a gross one. Yeah. I like them all neat and tucked inside. You know what I'm hey, saying? Man. Is that a deal breaker for you? I don't know if it's a deal breaker. I'd be like, I don't want to. 
<laughs> go down on me. Mm, but I that's not a deal breaker, though. I got to go down. I got to put it back together first. And no. then I go down. <laughs> Let me put this here. Let me fold hey, this back in. No Can offense. I staple this shit shut? No offense to any of the women in here who has. No offense to you, giant lip oh, labia. God. <laughs> <laughs> the flow curtain labia. Oh no, man, no offense. No offense to that all so you funny. throw rug labia having oh, women. Oh man. Is that considered is that considered You flag waving labia? <laughs> what is all this? Like is it is, is that is that technically um their version of circumcised? Like what? Like, like you know it's different when when a man when a man is circumcised. Is that like, girl, he ain't even circumcised? Or is that the, when guys be like, nigga, she had loose lips? You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's such a it's such a shock. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, from what I understand, the female uh, circumcision was the clitoris being taken off, correct? Twilly, didn't you say that last time? Oh, okay. I think that was like there's there's cultures that will take off the woman's clitoris mm-hmm. so that they can't enjoy sex with so strictly business, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's the female circumcision. I I'm, I don't think it has anything to do with less necessarily the the labias and stuff like that. And I am very sorry for all women who have <laughs> extra labia. Um, I'm into that. You can just you can just but it's like a tummy tuck. You can get a veggie tuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody want to. You, you want to get it cut off? I just don't need all the. Why, why, need all this <coughs> why does it matter? It's not. It's not hurting the woman. It's just. It's, it's, it's aesthetics. It's aesthetics, right? People. What do people get tummy tucks for? But if if first of all, I'm not over sexualizing this woman. Vagina augmentation. If she, I got it's like has, a BBL, but a BBV. Just get a Brazilian butt, you know, Brazilian vagina lift. Oh boy. A BVL. Oh boy. Um. Anywho. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I do find the, 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 the difference of women's bodies attractive. Mm, I agree. As in, like, oh, she has pink nipples. I <laughs> okay. thought she was a dark skin nipple woman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, she her her clitoris kind of sticks out a little bit more. That's what makes being a hoe wonderful. Oh my God. It's because <clears throat> you get to go see all the different beautiful things that women have to offer mm-hmm. around the world. Every woman's special, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Even the ones who have a lot of octopus skin. Octa? <laughs> yeah, they got eight labia. Give the me swallow my face. <laughs> And what if what if your first three in a- interactions is with women with loose uh, labia lips, and then after that you be like, wait a second, where your lips at? Yeah, I mean maybe you like some people like it. Mm-hmm. My yeah. first my first interaction was that. That's yeah. why I didn't see it as a problem. And mm-hmm. then I was like, well, hey, maybe she. Uh, now, nah, yeah, like yeah, some girl ever send you a picture of her vagina, you be like, hmm. but genitals alone are not attractive. You have to know your angles as well. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of people like I want to see that monkey. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh. yeah. Nah, nah, just keep me up top <laughs> or the butt. You know what I mean? I don't need to see the holes. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't like looking eye to eye. You know what I mean? It is, it is a great mystery. I, I do I do prefer if it's pictures I prefer don't lay be ashamed I'm sorry see <laughs> <laughs> she had no lol on that either <laughs> she had no lol she was like nigga imagine no what rejuvenation there mm-hmm. you go something like that I think what what did Walter say a friend I think of what? I, I think vaginal rejuvenation is tightening it right oh it's like it's it's been too much. <laughs> And it's like it don't it don't tighten up like it used to. It can't so be easy. Gravity alone's got to loosen it up, right? So so, can I tell you something? Of course. <laughs> I always thought. I think I told you this before. Okay. But I feel like when it comes to vaginas, mm-hmm. I always thought when a woman like does squats mm-hmm. or splits, mm-hmm. their lips open up like this. He did. <laughs> Each one, <laughs> yeah. Oh, double time. <laughs> Why? Because it opens up. 
lips open up. So I thought if your legs are open, it has no choice but to open up on its own. That's what I thought. As in, like, they're doing the splits. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> somebody coming on that. Like, what are they talking about? <laughs> what, if, what if you're in the gym, you see somebody doing squats. <laughs> and I hear a squat. One more. <laughs> and rest. <laughs> oh, God. Every time she takes a deep breath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Tighten up. So, so another, another moment of being vulnerable. Okay. I know what I'm working with back there, right? If, I know what I'm working with. If I don't have the proper draws and I'm doing jumping jacks, you'll hear like a little slight. <laughs> <laughs> you'll hear like a little slight. <laughs> because it's my butt slightly slapping on my thighs. It'd be like a. It'd be like a I'm like, God, I, got, I have, to, I have to have like, I have to have draws that's like. You need like Padded. a whole uh, tight because you can wear the yeah. tight shorts. Yeah, you know what I mean underneath. I have to do that because it, yeah. now the, the 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 fabric is 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 not clapping on my uh, um, skin for circulation. I have um, they're like tights for your thighs. I forgot what they're called, um, but they're kind of like tight. So I have I have like the long ones for your entire body, mm -hmm. right? And then I have like the ones just for like your thigh circulation because my legs. Would feel tired sometimes if I don't feel properly hydrated. Mm -hmm. And I always feel it. I'm like, oh man, my legs are tired. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like you ever wake up and your legs are tired? Yeah, yeah. Because usually for me it's hydration. Mm -hmm. so I notice when I drink more water, I'm like, oh great, yeah, I feel yeah. I feel good. But um, so when I wear those, uh, but I don't think if I ever noticed <laughs> a clap and sensation yeah, in the back. I'm sorry. So it's not it's not your butt coming together. No, no, no. It's the it's, case hitting it's, the bottom it's, of your. Yeah, it's it's the because you know it's coming down. It's a fold. <laughs> it's a fold. Yeah, yeah, you gotta tighten that up, man. You gotta do more squats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dion being there. <laughs> okay, and now I'm really confused. <laughs> Dion, huh? <laughs> Hold on, let me finish this one. <laughs> finish this one out? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my god. Why? Why, Twilla? Why are you a part of this? Uh, if if you if you if you don't hop to pit jeans on you don't know my pain. <laughs> Part of what? A la labiaplasty? Like rhinoplasty for your nose. Okay. Uh, what's kind of spicy said? original is hilarious. Spicy is great. What is this right here? Loose labia looks like chitterlings. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah. And don't eat. And I don't eat pork. Uh, I'm Team Chaz. Thank you. I'm like a cute. Oh. Tuck away vagina. There you go. <clears throat> Learned a lot about Candace right now, mm -hmm. didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> I want the little, it's a little safe pocket. Hot pocket. That's what you, you know, it's like one line. You mm -hmm. got to see what's inside. That's, yeah. I don't want to open it up and I see everything. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where's the, I want to open up gift, mm -hmm. you know? Wanna but is, again, is that a deal breaker? Perfect woman. It's not a deal breaker. So why are you hating, yo? It's not what a you deal breaker. What I, you going to tell just her? It's less. I just be like, I want to, I want to be like, oh, I want to do that. <laughs> you would not do that. I want to go down and be like, oh. Have, What's have you, hold on, first of all, have you ever seen it in person? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I'm thinking like you may be only seen it in person. My wife. <laughs> oh, so I, we're constantly hearing your test. This is right here therapy for you now. It's like, and I've been telling her for weeks <laughs> to get rid of that. I'm just joking. Yo, yo, posted something. The other, I posted something the other day about. Uh, not wanting to be married or something like that. <laughs> she she chimed just, in. She was just like, she posted back like, uh, this is what I got to deal with. And I told her, mm -hmm. I said, you got to know that I will always sacrifice our marriage for a laugh. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. Yeah, yeah. Like, the joke is funny to me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it. Right. No matter how many people are there, <laughs> no mm -hmm. matter if it's funny to me, that is not her <laughs> vagina I'm referring to. I've seen some ones where I've been like, yo. But then I also thought it was a thing of, this is ignorance. I also thought it was a thing of, Hoeing, okay. And oh I, yeah, I thought it was like I say, and I say hoeing <laughs> like this because it's easier to say because I don't believe in hoeing. 
I don't believe that's a real thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because people are grown ups. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's a part of the male hierarchy that keeps women down. Mm-hmm. So they call them hoes. You know, but we ain't, we ain't about that, right, Twiller? Right. That's right. There's grown ups doing grown up shit. <laughs> so you anyway. think it's, so you think it's, uh, you thought she had sex so much that the skin got loose? Yeah, I thought it was just extracurricular yeah. activities. <laughs> and that's what happens. <clears throat> Um, but no, no, but I've learned since then that yeah, they're all different. And, I remember and watching a lot of porn. I remember uh, you and I had the discussion, or maybe we were on daddy issues. Um, <clears throat> does the body count still equate to a woman who's been married for 10 years versus a mm-hmm. woman who has been having sex for 10 years? Right. Do they the same? You were saying it doesn't matter because if she's been having sex with the same guy for 10 years, it's still the same amount of body count. It's probably more mileage. I actually disagree. Okay. Because it is different DNA mm-hmm. inside this woman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's one guy, it's like least. If you're talking about, but that's the thing. What are we talking about? We're talking about numbers of times to have sex. If you're talking about different bodies, different people, then yeah, it's different. Different DNAs, mm-hmm. but also different shapes and sizes. So mm-hmm. she probably got drilled. She well, got, how you know her guy ain't the one with the 10-year husband? <laughs> He could be a driller, you know. <laughs> I, if I if I was dating a woman and her husband had her ex mm-hmm. had a twelve inch wiener, mm-hmm. okay, I'm not following this. Why? When people say twelve inches, people fail to mention the girth. Mm-hmm. Girth is very important. Well, I mean, I just figure it's a good <laughs> solid. You're on the mic, right? <laughs> right. It, it has to be twelve inches well. of this, okay? I go like, well, I'm not about to do this to myself. <laughs> And she's like, mm, uh, I just like you. You're really nice. If, if the girl says that they're nice is the mm-hmm. best thing, I don't want that. You know what I mean? If, if, if your girl you're messing with now. Oh, obviously your wife. My wife? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Not her, my host. Her, her ex is 100% contrasting you. And she's like, he's like a white guy, mm-hmm. 7 11. Mm hmm. 100 pounds ripped. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the contrast of you. Uh-huh. And you would you feel subconscious like, why are you doing this? Why are you with me? Or would you be like, yeah, you got them right. You're in, right. <laughs> you, you in the right place now. Would you would you feel? Uh, yeah, me being as stupid confident as I am, I'd be like, right, you got yourself a right one, wouldn't you? <laughs> you messing around with these wannabe. Like when I see when I see women with these big seven foot dudes, I'm mm-hmm. like, you with him because he's seven feet. Right. Not because he's got a great personality. Mm-hmm. And a great, but you tried it. Yeah. You found it was false. Right. Mm-hmm. Get yourself a real one, baby. <laughs> I would feel very subconscious. I remember uh, I was messing with this track girl, track runner, mm-hmm. and she was ripped. Yeah, great body. Very ripped. Usually. Uh huh. <laughs> and her ex boyfriend was a runner as well. Mm-hmm. Tyson Gay? Exactly. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, he was gay. As in happy. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, they, that they broke up. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, and I was just like, Yo, that was your boyfriend? She's like, yeah, yeah. Then we, you know, it was, you know, we talk. I sold her phone at T Mobile. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole time talking to her. And then we have, I finally kind of cracked the contra code and got in there and started okay. talking to her. The, the what code? The, the contra, contra code. code? The contra code. You, you know, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, game. Yeah, you know, yeah. you figure out how to. You got the cheat code on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, the whole time I kept the shirt on. Okay. <laughs> All during the yeah. intimate moments? Yeah, she completely naked. She's, mm-hmm. she's very confident. Yeah. I had a shirt on. Yeah. I had a hat on. Okay. Why the hat, too? <laughs> hey, man. Maybe he, he had a full head of hair. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I was very subconscious. I, was like, I don't want you to see any of this. I don't, I don't want any of this to turn you up, or dry yeah. you up. <laughs> Did she ever say anything about the shirt on? Nothing. Did oh, yeah. Say? Of course. She was like, get comfortable. Yeah. And so you I was just like, like, I, I, I don't know if you got a boyfriend coming over. Um, I'm the type you get what you pay for. This is You know what this is. <laughs> Let me not even hide some shit from you. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. This is This is it. Yeah. You, there's other options out there if you don't like what I'm presenting. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never had full complaints. Full complaints. Mm-hmm. You know, I get one of those like, "Hey, next time, uh, I don't know. Could mm-hmm. you could you wait a little longer for you?" It's, it's up to him, not me. I don't <laughs> tell him what to do. He don't tell me what to do. We mind our own business. You know what I mean? I just get him <sighs> girls. <laughs> oh man, uh, what if? A girl is telling you you have the best sex in the world. Been told that many times. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> your only your only default is 
when a girl gashes you up verbally, mm-hmm. saying all the things you say, you you bust immediately. Right? That's, that's talking typical. dirty. Yeah. Come on, but you better work it. Uh, uh, like, right, right. I told you to shush. <laughs> but during the act, mm-hmm. first quarter to f- fourth quarter, you are amazing. Mm-hmm. You, and, and, but and she doesn't make a sound. But she's like, you can't say anything. Right. You got to be quiet because I will instantly. <laughs> she's like, is, mm-hmm. is that a good time for you? For me, she, sure. She, she's like, not for her. And she's like, this the whole time. But did I tell her to be quiet? Well, she knows that if she well, figured probably it, is a good time. Because I'd be like, yeah, yeah, ha-ha. Like, doesn't matter if I say no. <laughs> but you, I'm way louder. <laughs> anyway. But you know how ah, ah. jack of your self-esteem is like this, like this. Oh, yeah. Because she knows. Like, like, is she enjoying it? Uh, hold on. Let me do the double pump. <laughs> no? <laughs> Nothing? But when you got, she's like, thank you. That was great. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. That's like, that's like that person in the audience who doesn't laugh, but they come up to you afterwards yeah, yeah. and say, great show. You were hey, very man. <laughs> Like, you the didn't laugh one time. funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. But, but bro, you, I watched you. You didn't laugh, smile at all. I had to keep you humble. <laughs> I'm not really a Because smiling. if I laugh, you would kind of dumb me down your jokes, man. I want you to work for those, man. You were like, oh, I'm not really much of a smiler. Or a, I'm on a laugh. I'm like, you got to communicate with me. I point when I'm enjoying it. Mm. Or people like, you're just like, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's comedians laugh. Yeah. Hilarious. Hilarious. Zero laugh. Or yo. That's mad funny. Mm -hmm. Monotone. Hilarious. (laughs) Yeah, when comedians say hilarious, it's funny. Lou Lou would be like, like, Brandon would be like, that's funny. I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) say it. But Lou would be laughing. Lou would be laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Best laugh in the game? Mm -hmm. Kenesha Buss. When she gets a snorting. Oh, man, I feel like that's forced. What? From Kenesha? Yeah. Nah, bro. That's a good That's a. She been laugh. doing that for 10 years? It's 15? Good, I don't know, Kenesha. It's I'm a good tag laugh. Kenesha. What do you mean? It's a good tag laugh. You do it. You do it. And then there's like a, we're laughing at you. Then the snort is the tag onto your joke. I, I see what you're saying, but I'm just talking about the best laugh in the game. It's Kenesha's. Not the laugh that makes you laugh. No, I'm talking about the snort. Yeah, that's a tag for your laugh. Because if I say a joke and I'm laughing, and then the snort, that would tag onto your joke. But that has nothing to do with Kanisha's laugh. You're talking about the audience. I can't even hear her laugh. I can hear the snort. (laughs) That's what makes it funny. Because I go, Kanisha's laugh makes people laugh, right? I would say Teddy Ray. (laughs) Yeah, he does like a a throaty. Teddy Teddy Ray (laughs) has like a. (laughs) He does like a a throaty. Look, see. Bam! I didn't even I didn't even yeah, see that, a, Candace. A, I can't, I can't yeah, I didn't even that. see that, Candace. No, I'm going with Kenesha, man. Yeah. Kenesha's laugh cracks me up. Uh, yeah, man. You ever you ever used to try to change your laugh? You'd be like, I'm gonna change my Yeah, laugh. because people say something like <laughs> Yeah. I know oh, I'm, I'm gonna change my laugh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm I'm full of energy. I know I'm loud. Mm-hmm. Um <clears throat> And I, and I try when people say, "Yo, you are a cartoon character. Mm-hmm. You are full of energy." Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, do, "Am I? Do I want to peg this? That? Why not? I don't know, man. Because I, I, you know, I, I, if I don't know, I just feel like it's great. You don't <laughs> want to be the boring person, yeah. You know, you don't want to be the dude who be like, mm, he always, he always chilling, mm-hmm. right? You know, like you want to hang out with him. He don't mm-hmm. be, he just be like." You don't want the yeah, sour yeah. puss face. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. I, you want to hang out with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, this dude, we be amped. Like, right. you'd be a great time at game night. You'd be like, oh. You, do, do, you, do you care? Do you care what people think about you? Stop, don't say I don't. Wait, I've been waiting for you to finish. I know he's gonna, I'm waiting for you to finish. No, hell, I never do. As in. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to finish. All right. As in, not think of you, but what have said about you. As in, like, as in, like, you know, um, I think Chaz be good for it. Mm, I don't know about Chaz, man. He's he's done blah blah blah. Like, mm-hmm. would you care or would you be like I don't care? Because you know, people have opinions. I, I'm certain. I'm certain that people have mm-hmm. talked, had opinions about like recommendations mm-hmm. or. I, I guess it depends on who it's from. Mm-hmm. There's one. Um, if, and it's 100 percent true. Would you be offended? No, I mean because it, it depends on like if if it's for an audition or something. I mean, I, I need an example. If I'm like trying to audition and somebody goes like, "Oh, Taz wasn't animated enough," that's a good thing to hear, mm-hmm. right? But it also depends on you ever watch some of those cats like just comedians who are just dry, and mm-hmm. then a lot of roles just won't be for them, but they'll yeah, find yeah. that one thing. So yeah. I guess it it would kind of depend on there. But uh, criticism, 
is one thing. Constructive criticism is another thing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like there's a difference between being criticized and then being encouraged through right. critiquing. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. There's criticism and there's critiquing. Mm-hmm. And when people say constructive criticism, uh, that's, I always think that's wrong. Mm-hmm. I think they're trying to say critiquing. Sure. Very different thing. Right. Right. So it would depend if somebody's trying to critique me mm-hmm. or if somebody's trying to criticize me. If you're yeah. trying to criticize me, I don't really care what you say. Right. Because that's a bar. Right. <laughs> because if you if you're just like, oh, man, Chaz, uh, you're not right for this one. Yo, try. Because I think when I met Jamie Masada, who ran the Laugh Factory early on, Jamie was like, yo, you got a lot of potential. But he was like, you got to hit the stage about 100 more times. Oh, boy. I was too young. And dumb and, and hot headed to understand that this is somebody who's actually rooting for you. Mm-hmm. Right? In my mind, he said, You're not good enough. Mm-hmm. And so then I was like, Fuck the factory. Yeah. You Instead know. of being like, Hey, man, I've been working, blah, blah, blah. And I'm back. Yeah. You know, it's a whole different. Because then when I, when I, I had passed that first round of The Laugh Factory a long time ago, and it's my own inability to be consistent, right? Just the same old chat. Try to come back. Yeah, I mean, and, and he was like, all right, yeah, yo, we're going to do a, a second round. I never followed up with the email. I never came back. I just, mm-hmm. Whether whether it was another homeless stint or whatever it was, mm-hmm. um, I just never made those moves. Same with the comedy store. I just never made those moves. Same with the improv. Right. <laughs> right? I've passed all these levels, mm-hmm. and my own inability at the time to be consistent and follow up um, shaped where I'm at now. You know, because mm-hmm. I always think about, man, dog, have you just got out your own head, been more patient with yourself, with other people? You'd be a lot further in your career. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but hot headed, too over cocky <laughs> as a young. I don't think I ever came off as cocky, but in my mind, it was Kanye in here. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. poisoning my yeah. own mind. Not right. that it was him the same, but for me, it wasn't good. So, anyways, it would depend on uh, who, you know, if, if, if Bent, you, and Tony, people I actually care about, had a critique for me, mm-hmm. I'm all about it. Mm-hmm. But if it was somebody give example, okay, because it's hundred percent true, okay, right? Mm-hmm. You haven't <clears throat> you haven't actually told me this. Mm-hmm. This is a scenario I'm trying okay. to think of your life. Okay, if Smile was like, "Hey man, you know who'd be go- dope for the road? Mm-hmm. You, uh, Jackson McQueen mm-hmm. and Chaz." I'm like, ah, this is me saying this. Mm-hmm. I, I I wouldn't pick Chaz because, um. He really don't like to be on. Uh, he doesn't fly. He don't like to fly, mm-hmm. and he don't want to spend too much time away from his daughter. Mm-hmm. This is what you've said this to mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. but you haven't actually made that decision for me. Right? Would you be upset with me when it was like, dude, Dion, you, you, <laughs> like, we, we they, y'all would know on the road. They, you, they suggested me to do this. Yeah. And why wouldn't you? Say, like, you told me you don't like to fly, and you don't spend that much time away from your daughter. We're gonna be gone for four weeks. Yeah. Would you be upset with me? I wouldn't be upset, per se. I would be like, oh, just hit me next time. Like, let me say no. I'd be like, let me... <laughs> <laughs> let me talk to the wives. Let me say yes or no. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't be mad at you. Because mm-hmm. especially for you, if this is you. Right. I know that you usually have my best interest. Mm-hmm. So a lot of it depends on who right. it's from, right? So if it's... I, I would definitely have done that. But I was giving an example. Right. No, no I was, it's a good example. You. It's a good, good example. Because we... we like, oh, I don't know, man. Because like, I know this cat well. Right. You know what I mean? Like, people ask me stuff for Tony all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I can ask him. But I know what he's going to Yeah, say. but I kind of yeah. know this cat. You right. know what I mean? So, but yeah, I'm like, you never know. Yeah. But. You know what, Tony? Uh, I'm going to tell you, Tony loves your dirty draws, man. Why you say that? <laughs> when I say, when I say, I remember the roommate. Mm. I remember how much I used to argue. Uh-huh. I remember how. I can say now I know how stubborn you are and I know how consistent and persistent Tony is uh-huh. and like Chaz just do it man mm-hmm. like just when you get back on stage he been saying it so many times like when you get back on stage Chaz, he still man? Says it all like the time. he I, like like when I say he's on you all the time like yeah. a little brother and it's like, like he's not like I'm sick. It's like Chaz, you're you're not even like, Tony's but you're still only, in your circle. Tony's the only, only, only comedian who's ever paid me. Tony's the only, only, only comedian who's ever took me anywhere. Mm-hmm. He's the only person who ever saw something more than what other people saw. Right. The only person. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no one else yeah. was like I've been booked for shows. But nobody said, yo, I stand 100% by everything he does. Mm-hmm. From writing to performing. Tony always told me, dog, you're a great actor, dog. Yeah. I saw you do this, I do like, you're a great performer. Yeah, yeah. Only person ever, dog. Yeah, so, that's what I said, dude. That's, that's, a, that's a friend, <clears throat> friend. Mm-hmm. 
I bring them, um, I, and I bring them nothing. There's nothing I can really. That's get. What I'm saying, you know, know what I mean? And, <laughs> and that's why I be, I be. This is real. I'm, I be, I be afraid to like <laughs> let Tony down. Tony hit me up with the the a. Hey, uh, you gotta lose that weight, Dion. And I was like, bro, like I only hang out with cats older than me ever, mm-hmm. right? I think Keenan is the only person younger than me is a month. Keenan, yeah, baby. okay. Yeah, and Keenan's a month younger. So my circle, I learned way more. I learned a lot. Yeah. From living with Tony, watching him be a father, how he mm-hmm. how he goes about handling it. I don't always agree with everything, mm-hmm. but I go like, man, my <laughs> my biggest growth from being a father, huh? I'm sorry. What? Because what I, <laughs> what I pictured what I pictured was he is like, I've seen Tony, you know, being a father and I know I don't necessarily agree with what he's done. I'm picturing him like, you mother, can I tell you not to watch those goddamn like you, and you look like Tony. No, he's up on him. No, everything father wise, I agree with. Okay, because no, you went from that to that. I'm thinking no. like, like, I told you, it's like we Tony don't. Me like, and Tony don't think alike uh-huh. at all. So right. that's why we clash a lot. Mm-hmm. Because Tony is like, man, you got to get these answers from people. You got to find out. Yeah. What, why? Such, I'm like, who gives a shit? You just keep right. going. So we're very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that aspect, so. Tony be like, man, I don't, because he even said the other day, I don't like the way you don't like, respect putting people on a grill. And I'm like, I don't like the way you be grilling people. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I just don't think it's necessary. Right, like, right. it is. So we yeah, definitely yeah. don't agree. Right. That's what I said. Thought process. Loves like, you to death, man. Yeah, it's my bro, man. But that's the thing about having a real brother, like mm-hmm. a real friend. Tony's an yeah. extra older. I mean, he really extra reminds older? me of, Yeah, I have an older brother. Mm-hmm. You know, but then when when Tony met my brother, he was like, feels like you're the older brother. I, like, I feel like yeah, the older yeah. brother. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but like when you have like an older cousin, like somebody who you always look up to, respect, I'm mm-hmm. um, learning a lot from work ethic, bro, uh, fathering, paying bills on time. I learned yeah. all that from him. Yeah. I was a right. homeless cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm sure you've reminded him that numerous times. Oh, I'll be, he'd be on the podcast. I'll be telling him, he'd be like, all right, man, that's enough. Like, Let me <laughs> yeah, tell yeah. the people. I'm like, nah, dog. Uh, yeah, change, yeah. change my big, I'm, there's three people, the biggest. Uh, influences in my life since I've been in LA. Uh, that's my man Jazz. You met Jazz, didn't you? I met Jazz. He's still out here? Mm-hmm. Jazz is writing on BMF. That's what's uh, up. Black, yeah, yep. He's a writer on there. So Jazz, Bentley, and Tony, man. Yeah. Those are the three people who yeah. gave me every single thing. And Jazz announced it to third grade. Mm-hmm. So How did he end up out here? Y'all came out here together? Uh, together, but separately. He was at Florida State. They came out for an internship. Mm-hmm. Um, so they did my inter- I stayed with him one of my homeless things. I stayed with him and his crew. Mm-hmm. And then I met one of his buddies and we became roommates. And then uh, you know, he went to go do better bigger and better things and I was mm-hmm. uh broken homeless again. Right? His name is Jasmine, right? <laughs> yeah. Jasmine and Jasmine. We grew up like that. That's Jasmine crazy. And jazz. That's crazy. Yeah, man. So uh That's yeah, man, those story. those three cats, bro, I'm like they helped me more and then and then everything else is just I just always knew I wasn't Man, all the opportunities, I was never mature enough. That was my biggest deficiency was maturity. Mm-hmm. And understanding, like, yo, God's trying to give you all these things you ask for, but you'd blow it all right now if you had it because you're not patient. You don't plan ahead. You, you know, you'd be trying to go from one thing to another. It's like, I can't, get you, I can't get these blessings out. Right, 100%. You're going to blow it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> yeah man. Yeah, man. <coughs> Let's see, what's up? What's up? They've been quiet. Zupper. What's up, Zoop? Zup- <laughs> I'm always calling him Zupper. I don't know why Dion mm-hmm. just can't get Zupper. it. What's up? Yo, mm-hmm. so early. Early for you. I don't know what time yeah. it is, but Tony and Chaz gave me way much. What? Big brother, baby brother vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, man. They got nothing over there? What is yeah. this spicy original symbol? What is that? Uh, That's like a money symbol. Graduation, like a bone or something. I said, "Why are you telling Yo's business? <laughs> Isn't her vagina my business?" Hello, right? Hello. That's exactly what it is. I'm just joking. He's not joking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people, if you joke around, people will think you're serious. Mm-hmm. This is this is why I catch shit on daddy issues because mm-hmm. people never think you're you're joking. <laughs> Got that what? Got that note at 6 a.m. here, but had to go to my my mom, my run. Dion got me moving again. Hey, come hey, on, hey, lad. Yay. Right now, for those who wondering, um, I'm at 7,900. 
Are you really steps right now? Oh I did. I had a little. I had a little run this morning. Dang. Um, when I say run, I 100 percent mean walk. Um, you got 7,800. I got 1,400 steps. Only time I run, yeah. Only time I run is if I was trying to catch a light. <laughs> oh, let me oh, 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 oh. You, do, you do that shuffle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I only have 1,400 steps today. I get hey, on man, my steps you later. Gotta, you got to get up, man. I'm not a morning walker. You have to. I hang out with it, is. I, the, the, what I what I do is to, to it, if you know your schedule, mm-hmm. you know you're going to be in front of a computer. Mm-hmm. I would. Catch up on the show and watch. Just, just step in place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Commercial come, do some squats, do uh, some burpees, get back up and walk. That's what I kind of do to kind of like. This is how I knock two things out at the same time. Let's Clean crack. up podcast. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's how I catch up on y'all podcast. I didn't. You're very, you're very neat. Thank you, man. You're Appreciate a very you. neat person. Thank you. Like, like I'm like it's always tidy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Appreciate that, bro. You're a tidy guy. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, Dion, neat. You and Tony would be great roommates together. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. would be, hey, hey, man, man, hey, man, yeah. Y'all would just agree and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Walter saying? Well, I agree with you. Once you get that knowledge, bruh, the maturity will manifest all your blessings, King. No doubt. So shout, exactly out to, shout out to Walt Miller. That's exactly what happened, man. Once I started uh, trying to be better, uh, I started getting more things. Tomorrow I got some merch coming from him. Oh yeah, what's the guy? Yeah, um, I think I got some beard stuff coming in. Okay, you know what I'm saying because I'm a part of the beard gang. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so they really asked me. They the, when I was when I was going live, mm-hmm. the question was, does Dion have a real beard? Okay, I told him if Dion brushes it all the same way, then yes. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but if you wake up in the morning and it ain't brush, <laughs> but if he goes all the same one way, solid beard. Oh my god! But gosh. Dion, I've, I've said this a lot of times. You don't want to be in the beard gang because beards are for ugly people. Oh bro. yeah, yeah. Because when you have a uh, good skin, a good facial structure, some teeth. Look at this. Mm-hmm. I, I can't have a beard cover this up. Why mm-hmm. would I have a beard? All, people have beards up to here, bro. You know why? Because they're ugly as fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you explain goatees? Well, goatees not a real beard, like a beard, mm-hmm. like a beard that covers yeah. your face. Okay, you know what I mean. I don't, I don't mean like the goatee, the sideburns. Yeah. you know what I mean. I mean like this, like when people are like, yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, you're covering half your face. Sure. Dion, let me ask you a question, Dion. Have okay. you ever had hair in your food? Uh, yeah. Did, what, how was your reaction? You're like, mm, this looks right. better. Right. <laughs> no, you, you do not say that. There's rarely anything that you see hair that you go like, ah, there's hair in the sink. You go like. Yo, it was hair on the sink. Mm-hmm. Anything that's beautiful. If there was hair on top of your house, how in the hell <laughs> does hair get here? So why would hair on your face make you look better? Unless you got to be that fucking ugly yeah. that hair makes you better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, let, let, let the ladies say something about that. They Lady. don't know because niggas be coming up their face. <laughs> so You shave that mug, you be like, ooh, grow your beard so back. So the reason why I... In, I enjoy or it want a beard mm-hmm. is because my hair grows fast, but it doesn't grow consistently. Mm-hmm. Um, it it just sits here. It doesn't grow thick mm-hmm. enough. It just, it literally just sits here, and this <laughs> side don't grow at all. Uh, so so when I cut my hair down, I, you start to see it, and then it becomes like uneven. It's not even shaped up. Yeah. So three days in, it's like I'm back to scratch. Well, at least with a beard, you don't know if it's from a week or okay. two weeks. <laughs> okay. So it's about it's just about being uh, efficient. I, I feel you. Yes, yeah, I, I feel you. No, I just I see that you shaved. Uh, yeah, I had that big meeting. I told you, <laughs> <laughs> I shaved for that. I didn't want them to think that hmm, why are they bringing this homeless guy. <laughs> now all of a sudden you care. I, we I, had this I told you I sell out for money. I've always made that clear, have I not? Tap dancing. I will tap dance my ass off for money. Okay, there is. I will make that clear a hundred times, guys. I will. I will shave. <laughs> I would do whatever. It is. If there's money on the table, I'm selling out. Mm-hmm. I'm selling out. Yeah. Yes. So you think you can get bought? Am I selling out or am I buying in? Hello. Hmm. Hello. I bought into this. Do the you, right thing. Do you think you you hundred percent get bought? Yeah. So I have a price. So check this out. Here we go. I'm, mm-hmm. on, I'm gonna make this is look. not a butt rate I'm question, a, is no, it? No. I'm a, okay. No, People no. like, would you? How much no, money no. would it? I wouldn't go in that way. <laughs> a mouth rate. No. <laughs> no. Um. Uh. 
This is your daughter daughter's recital. Daughter's recital. You are okay. on your way there. Yeah. You're suited and booted. Yeah. Somebody's like, Chaz, I need for you to come to this meeting right now to sign these paperwork. Mm -hmm. We have to close the deal now. Mm -hmm. You sign it, you're getting a fifteen thousand dollar increase. You sign it tomorrow, the deal is in it's limbo. Mm -hmm. They're two different directions. Yeah. Are you going to your daughter's recital? No. <laughs> I'm gonna go sign those papers. <laughs> Daddy, you weren't there. One, two, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like y'all in the car together. It's like, yo, I need you to uh, hop in this front seat and take this car. I'm about to um, make an errand. What are you talking about? This is the third one this week. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, do you want this money or not? What are you talking about? Especially right now? You're a villain, man. Your daughter's <laughs> always going to remember that. That's fine. Chess, <laughs> <laughs> you're a damn savage. You know how much I can do for you? I'm like, I can't, I can't do anything for us <laughs> if I'm here watching your boring-ass recital. It and half of it is just a bunch yeah. of other kids I don't give a shit about anyways. You see my daughter? No, I don't give a fuck about your daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, until to the point of like, now you're like Tom, like you're, you're Peter Parker in, all, in the Spider Universe. Like he never was at any of the events. <laughs> he missed, the, he missed the dance. He missed the uh, <laughs> the competition. Like he wasn't at any of the events. I had we talked about this on Daddy Issues once about I asked Tony in DC and Craig if they regret not going to a lot of their kids things younger because they were working. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tony was like, nah. He was like, even with Serene passing, I don't miss it. I don't regret it because I was able to do so much for them in the later years when they needed cars, college. Mm -hmm. He was Ooh. like, I was able to do all that stuff off of the work that I did. He mm -hmm. was like, I built all that. He was like, he was like, definitely, you know, I wanted to be there for the games and he, I made, you know, he's like, I did what I could. He was like, but in DC said the same thing. She so was like, yeah, but I can't be on a tour mom when they want shoes, when they want prom stuff. He's like, I got to mm -hmm. go work for it. And even when, you know, they're going to college, he's on it. When they, he's like, when DC has to go take a trip, you can go take a flight right now. You know, and Craig said, this, Craig said the opposite. Craig said he felt like he had spent too much time with his kids oh. and not enough time getting, doing the extra stuff, you know. So oh boy. I'm trying to find somewhere in the balance yeah, yeah, in between. where you can go like, okay, I care about this. But like, this is life changing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I got to go do this. Right. This sets up. You know, what's the goal, right? The goal is to set up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, what's the family money? What I'm talking about? Generational wealth. Sure. Right? We all talk about generational wealth. And there's several ways to get there, right? <laughs> but you have to build a structure okay. of generational wealth. Yep. So we know real estate's a good one. Stock's a good one. All these other things. And I'm like, it takes a lot of money to build wealth. Mm -hmm. Not just more money. Right. Mm -hmm. But like, yo, my family never has to work again if they don't want to. Well, gotcha. that's a lot of work. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I'm a, one of you. What? Daddy daughter dance. OK. This is her last one. <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's her last one. Yeah. You're old for six. How old is she? She's 15. OK. So she's daddy daughter dance. Did I already pay for the fucking expensive? Yeah, you, 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 you doing? are literally the daddy of the year because mm -hmm. you sponsored this school. Right. You're getting an so, award. So, so You're my secretly daughter, getting an award. <laughs> my for daughter daddy has to year. do a Kinsieta. Sure. One day. Uh huh. Which I hear is going to be stupid expensive and mm -hmm. a lot. So if I did, if I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I don't care about this daddy daughter dance yeah, yeah. already. But continue. Yeah, yeah. And then and then it's like next up we have. Izzy and Chaz. Okay. And now she's walking that thing by herself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then afterwards, it was like, all right, all the uh, tallies is in. All the uh, votes are in. We, who going to get the daddy of the year? We got Chaz Rogers. <laughs> and she, Izzy's like, she's not here, guys. Uh -huh. And she, she's just dancing by herself. <laughs> There's nobody who came with her. She got no. Dance with my father. Did my wife not come and say that her uncle? Nobody came. She just went by herself. By herself. How much because money you, did I leave for? Because you left last minute unprepared. But for how much money? $100,000. Well, hopefully by then, $100,000 doesn't mean as much. Mm -hmm. So if you said, like, like those cats signed those $100 million deals, I'm leaving yeah. my daughter in a car seat in the summertime right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> to go sign a hundred million dollar deal. I hope I get back in enough time to yeah, save yeah. her. That's your, that was that was your objective. He's like you in the parking lot, like sweetheart. I need to sign some paperwork. Yeah. I'm coming right right back. Yeah. And then you drop her. All right, Dad. She believes you. Yeah. She believes you. You yeah. go in there all the way to Hollywood. Okay, I'm gonna sign here. All right, can I validate? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chaz, can you take some pictures because you about to sign the law? Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, I'm already suited in the booty. About to go to my daughter's thing. No, no, hold on. We have some drinks. We got to celebrate for the company. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, we ain't gonna let you drive like that. You're drunk as hell. <laughs> <laughs> daughter, <laughs> dad, my daughter, please no. <laughs> and then she goes, Dad, you weren't there. I was all alone. Like, what kind of car you want? <laughs> oh, you gonna buy her off? Shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can go to the to the dealership. Sounds like a villain origin story. <laughs> This would be fine. No, I don't care if it was a <laughs> father. I'm all the way there. Look at you, man. No, I don't care for what. If I was a father all over there, man, I'm getting that money, dog. Getting that bread. <laughs> that's, that's spicy original is funny. What you saying? I don't blame you. I'll be at the next one. Hey, I'm sorry. I ain't doing it. I'll be at the next one. I got the next 80 years to be a father. I'm, I, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah, did you eat yesterday? You got to go back to one of those. <laughs> did you have a <laughs> roof over like, You know what? I'm going to find my man and my boyfriend. I'm going to find my father and my boyfriend <laughs> who beats me. <laughs> like, like, I didn't do that. Like, where you getting that from? I didn't even know that. He's my all. daddy now. <laughs> he treats me better. <laughs> uh, that's a great question. Yeah. It's I'm definitely terrifying. taking the money. It's terrifying. Uh, my, my, so, so what happened with me mm -hmm. is my daughter had a solo. Mm-hmm. Uh, in one of the uh, in, uh, cadence, okay, and I came right when she was gone, Ooh, right, uh -huh. and when she came off, I didn't see the. I don't know. I don't, from the solo, I saw she was killing it. Yeah. So when we came off, she's like, did you see me do my solo dad? And I had to. I was like, you did this. And she's like, <laughs> oh my god, you saw it. Yeah, yeah. And she was so excited. Yeah, and I know excited. that's going to be a memory forever. Right. Also, I've done. Seven of her father daughter dances, mm -hmm. so I know that's a memory that she's going to have. Right when it's something like a uh, like a group dance thing or a group choir mm -hmm. thing, I can see missing that. But yeah, children do remember. They definitely remember. Like imagine being a football player, you score the winning touchdown, and it's always a fifty yard line. <laughs> like, where's my dad? Is an empty seat right there. Everybody's cheering around. Like, yeah. well, you know, I played a lot of sports growing up, right? Uh -huh. So I remember the games my dad made the ones he didn't. But I was never ever mad at him because he was always working. Were you any good? I was great. Okay, that wasn't great, great. Because if you were on the bench, you were on care. No, I was always I good. I don't want to see me like this. So I remember, I remember this one play. I was playing third. Pop up. Uh, goes foul, I run, I catch it out of bounds. Um, solid play, mm -hmm. right? And then that's when my dad like, mm, yeah, right? remember that. Of course, right? But then, so, he's missed way more games than he was there, mm -hmm. right? But I'm never like, oh, he wasn't there. Or especially in football, right? Mm -hmm. Or wrestling. Like, the games he made, great. The ones he didn't, zero issue. I'm still mm -hmm. like, great, because I know mm -hmm. you're out there working. Now, had I found out he'd been out there doing God knows <laughs> what, <laughs> I'm like, hey man, you missed my game because you was you having a domino oh, tournament. Hey man, <laughs> I make fifteen dollars. I'm like, come on, man, come on. It's always cocaine off of a stripper's ass. <laughs> yeah. it's always, it's, you my mama, you my brother. We, we found your father butt naked in the whorehouse. <laughs> what At a brothel? I had I had a game today. <laughs> that was today. <laughs> oh no. So I'm like, yeah, man. If it's about work, it's about securing future stuff. Um, I always got that stuff. And then I was never disappointed. I'm like, I know this cat came back. He was tired working nights. You know? I was like, I we got it. God. Mm -hmm. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. That I don't have parental issues. Yeah. I'm going father and mom. Yeah. My mom and dad, I don't remember any of them going to any of my games. Yeah. Because their schedule always contrasts right. my football schedule. Right. Um, I, they, they did come to my place because mm -hmm. it was like a different shift, but mm -hmm. I don't remember them coming anything. And it was never a moment that I was insecure that I needed love from my parents. Right. Even though it was great, right. but it wasn't like I, everyone's cheering for me, but I wanted your love. 
Dude, my dad put in mad hours practicing baseball with me. I'm okay. starting because of him. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Practicing football with me. Like, I'm starting because of him. Mm-hmm. And I was like, anytime we could go to the park, he always, man, eyes, bloodshot, yeah. me being there. Come on, let's get these, you know, if I got to go to work. I'm like, mm-hmm. we, got, we got zero issues. Right. You know what I mean? And it's an investment as an parent. Mm-hmm. Imagine, imagine if you are dropping your kid off from school, picking them up from practice, Paying for shorter pads, paying yeah. for all this stuff. He's like, I ain't going. It's like, dude, you better invest in your. <laughs> you better come to him. I remember my dad. I'd be like, man, why are you working so much? He's like, my son needs a new glove. I'd be like, all right, man, get yeah, up yeah. there, do your thing. Do my dad worked post office forty hours a week, mm-hmm. and then he go deliver pizzas. <sighs> Is there any job? Like, I can't be mad at, at you. this age right now. Uh-huh. It hurts to say this. Mm-hmm. Y- your dad's still around. Yeah. Is there any job that you and your mom is mm-hmm. around? Is there any job that you be like, this is embarrassing? That they did that or they I work did? It now, today. Like, not, not to me. Like, you be like, I get it. Like, if somebody was like, yeah, your mom works at uh, McDonald's. Would you be like, mm, yeah, sure. Or would you be like, come on, mom, you can do better than that. No, I would feel bad for me that I can't get her out of McDonald's. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta do better. Uh, <laughs> but I be seeing old people there, and I'm mm-hmm. like, man. Like, th- like I don't <laughs> hey, can I get number ju- three? <laughs> Made some bad investments, huh? <laughs> I never want a job that a What'd you do with that 401k? 16-year-old can get. Ah, you pulled out when yeah. the stock was down, huh? Mm, 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 mm. Some people just need stuff to do. Some Absolutely. old people need stuff to right, do. Right, bored. Yeah. Um, no, man, dog. My grandfather, he, uh, he was a uh, janitor at Cleveland State um, College University for as long as I can mm-hmm. remember. And what? Like, no. it was just pay bills. I'm not laughing at that, but that's one of those challenges again. Like, I could be, a, I could be a janitor mm-hmm. if it if it was a state that no one knew who I was. <laughs> like, I don't want to be a janitor at like the comedy store. <laughs> it's like, Tion? yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's like with these cats, bro. Remember Big Job was doing security for Dizzy Wright? That's, he has the visual. But I'm it. just saying, it's like you're doing one thing today, right. and you are you can be a star tomorrow. It just depends what you build. Absolutely. There's a there's this uh, dude, I forgot his name, I forgot his YouTube, but he films himself cleaning every day, mm-hmm. right? He, he's a janitor, and he go, I take you guys with me. Oh, look at this. This is disgusting. Millions of views. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he can't be doing this for so long, but it's also how he makes money on YouTube. That's dope. So I go like, there's a point he's got to be making more money now right. than he is on YouTube, but this is also his content That's nice. until he figures something else out. But I'm like, so smart, bro. Like, whatever right. you do, you can go make money off of it. So yeah. he was just like, what, look at the, who, who would leave this? Yeah. And then he brought you in the toilet once. He was like, oh, ah. Oh, All right, you guys, let me explain the smell to you guys. <laughs> I have to explain the smell? That's funny. I was just like, bro, like, there's, he's just doing more with it. So I'm like, you, you, you respect it. Mm-hmm. And especially when you go, I'm like, dog, you got like hundreds of thousands of views on here. You can't mm-hmm. be just making more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing you, this shit. I think once you get to a certain. So, so what happens? <laughs> in the early 20s, mm-hmm. late, early 30s, you know, late 20s, early 30s. Prohibition era. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh-huh. No, I ain't. T- <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to take about to the era. Your age. Oh, oh. <laughs> Asshole, <laughs> you're uh, early twenties. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. You can do these jobs yeah. as like working at McDonald's, yeah. Yeah, or yeah. you know, you like I have to get out of here to move towards my career. Right. Once you get a like a snippet of your, <laughs> I love how you say snippet. Snippet. Uh, once you get a what snippet, is a snippet? It's, it's 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 a snippet of a snipple. <laughs> so what? It's a sneak peek of a snippet. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get a just a swig <laughs> of success. Once you get a swiggle of success. Okay. <laughs> like if you get a job uh, at Harvest Studios as yeah. a writer, mm-hmm. but then all that cuts off. It's hard to go back mm-hmm. to work at Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. I think about loading luggage. I'm like, if I gotta go <laughs> yeah. back, I'll go back. You would I'll, do it. I have to. Oh man. It's it, like it's such a humbling experience, man. Yeah. Like, like, um, uh, hey, how you guys doing? What airline you taking? Hey. Oh, you flying, huh? Hey, I remember you was the head writer over at uh <laughs> like what happened? I was. They didn't they didn't hire me back. I got fired. <laughs> what <laughs> airline was that? <laughs> Gosh, dude. It is it is God like, hey, you you are 
forgetting who how you got here. This this is what you know. Here's what happens to me. God would give me something. Sometimes he'll give me a chunk of money, right? And he'll be like, "What you gonna do with it?" Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "I told you, God, if you gave me this money, I'd go invest it. Blah blah blah. I'll go blow it on something." Mm -hmm. He'll give me a drought, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, "All right, I got it. <laughs> I, I I'm gonna write this write this plan down and make message, a plan. message received. Then I'm gonna give you a little more." Cause you said he's gonna do X, Y, Z. You did A, B, C. Mm -hmm. And he'll give me a little more, and I'm like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a little more, and we test you again. It's yeah. a bigger amount. You gonna right. do it right? Yeah, let me put that invest that in. Put that in there. Mm -hmm. And he'll be like, all right, man, I'm gonna give you one more chance. I'm gonna give you this. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you don't sound ready. Give yeah, me a yeah. little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he'll give me a chunk, and he'll be like, and so every time, man, he'll he'll just give you tests, and he's just like, do the right thing, and I will give you more. I'm trying to yeah, give you more. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be blowing it, man. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Yeah, blowing money fast, taking over for the nine nine two thousand. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the strip club real quick, <laughs> blow this money. I and I'll be back. I never, I never saw the appeal of a strip club. Mm -hmm. I see I, the appeal. I, I get I, the visual. Yes. As in, like, I would love for a woman to dance with me. Mm. But it's more so, I, I'm more of like, hey, I'd rather pay the entry fee. I, I really thought she was like, I'm like. <laughs> no, I'd rather pay. I'm more like, I hey, have a chunk of money. I have a chunk of ass in my hand. No, I have a chunk of money. And uh -huh. I, I'd rather pay, like, hey, this is 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting dance on for free. Mm -hmm. Like, I ne like, seeing the money slowly tip away is like, oh, I'm losing a lot of money. Like, I'd rather pay the entry fee and never thought, like, I, I this is a free event now. Uh -huh. This is a free event. Yeah. That's how my mind is. Like, there's a difference between swiping mm -hmm. your card mm -hmm. versus actually counting $856.27. You, you gotta like, count that. You like, oh, this money is slowly leaving my pockets. I'd rather just pay up front like a... That was the thing about loading luggage. I got tips. Yeah. And you know how much something costs. I'm like, you know how many bags I have to load to pay yeah. this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know how much luggage this is? Yeah. Every, everything was in, in terms of how mm -hmm. many bags I gotta break my back to get this? Yeah. You take care of your shit. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't like the... Because it feel like... like a woman is milking you for your money. Mm. Like, I'm going to keep dancing. Come on, give me some more. you like, I'm trying. I'm trying the best I can to keep you here. I'm sorry. I don't have any more money. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I need more money. Bye, you broke bitch. <laughs> I need more money. I'd rather do the brothels. I'd rather walk in. Hey, hey here's all the women you could have sex with. Oh. <laughs> The Mexican, hey, the side of them, the Asian. <laughs> Let me get one of them. Uh, you got anything snack wise? <laughs> Little person comes out. Yeah. <laughs> you got any loose labias? No? You all out? All right. <laughs> okay. How about it? Uh, I wish I wish brothels were legal though. Not that I'd be up in them. So describe. I don't know what a brothel is. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's but just what a place it? where you can go and you can pay for sex legally. No, you know, and brothel I thought house. brothel. Because the madam, Lady Madam, right? Yeah, is like the, she'll the, run it. But mm -hmm. I thought a brothel was a place. It's like, a I, prostitute I, house. I think, yeah, I think of a saloon. As in like. Okay, a saloon? <laughs> yeah, a saloon where you You went see, back to the Western days? Because that's where the brothels are usually at. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, sir, uh, can I get you a drink? No, I just, I'm looking for Sherry. And it's like, oh, sh Sherry's with somebody right now. You can wait in the no. waiting room. <laughs> Sherry's doing that. Huh? Sherry's working. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so when I when he when he described it, I was thinking of like they were on a like a a menu sheet. And he was like, let me get yeah, that me one. Let me get that one. Get so one I thought it was just like a it's masked as a party, and it's like you you're there kind of like like, hey, how you doing? And she's like, you want to have a good time? And they go into the room. How much? So so I, I don't, depends on how good of a time you want. Does, so is there a difference between a sex party? And a brothel. Yeah, I think the sex parties you go for like you're invited. Or you mean like like one of them orgy parties or something yeah. like that? I think those are like free admittance. We're all a bunch of freaks thing. I don't know. Not I never, free. I've, I've heard. Know. I've heard. I've never been. Uh, yeah, I never haven't either. <laughs> but I heard of a, a sex like mm -hmm. club. Mm -hmm. Orgy sound gross. That sound like it, a disease. It, yeah, I don't. I don't like orgies. Yeah, I'm like I've um, never been in an orgy. Can I see but, people's t tests? I need to see some tests. <laughs> Who's disease? Is there a disease-free section? Yeah, yeah. 
I think they should <laughs> like how they have the they COVID, should be COVID tested. They should be COVID tested. Let's see if you got anything right now. Everybody who's disease free is over here. Oh, yeah, great, great. And then it's like you can't ejaculate, sir, inside. All these rules. You have to wear condoms. Oh my god. Yeah, and I, I think I, I've never I've I've never seen a sex party, but I'm just picturing it like the opening scene of Blade. We just got like everybody just naked, kind of slide through people's butt. Like, oh, 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 hey, hey, bro, I'm gonna look at that. Here we go. <laughs> I had one girl, she invited me to Denver, um, where she's a part of this. I don't want to say it's a sex cult, but it's a group mm -hmm. of people who do they switch. And she was like, I don't want to. She was like, I don't want to grab a boyfriend that I'm dating. She was like, but someone like you would be great, where we can go have fun with the people's not personal. Uh, I just I didn't want to take no trip to Denver for a random STD, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely thought about it. I was like, if she was in LA, Glendale, Burbank, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely, I would have pulled up. I'm not going to Denver. Wow. To she risk fly this venereal. Uh, no, because if she would have flewed me out, I would have went. Yeah, yeah. But I wasn't about to pay for. Risking my pain. You've been flued out before. Mm -mm. I've been flued out, and this is it's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, it was this, this girl flew you out? A girl flew me out. Where'd you luckily, go? From I where got to you, where? Brother, I'm going, oh, I got my milky yeah. though. I've been flued out to Dayton though, so okay. it was my hometown. Okay. So I had I had a ways to escape. She said, "I want that old thing back." <laughs> <laughs> I, but I could. It, it's immediately uncomfortable because it's like. I'm held hostage. Yeah. Because you paid for my services. Yeah. That's hilarious. And now, like, luckily, I was like, oh, I, I got supposed to, meet, I supposed to meet up with my friends. So let me get up on out of here. Oh, oh, I didn't fly you out so you can get with your <laughs> friends. Pull you're, that thing out. You're here. Yeah. Did she have a problem with you seeing your homies? Yes. She did. Yes. I feel it. She paid I, for I your am, time. Right. Luckily, uh, she had to go to work. Moyo in the building, y'all. What's up, Moyo? Moyo. A brothel is a transactional experience. Zuper knows. Zuper's building one. Isn't that what you got that apartment <laughs> for? <laughs> in Sydney, Australia, to have a sit, go to Zuper's brothel house. <laughs> That's hard. You know what? What's, what? You could call the place a broth house. What's that mean? Like broth is like soup broth. Ooh. You know? That's, that's look like it stinks. A broth house? Broth stinks. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> soup broth? Yes. <laughs> you, do you want your girl to smell like broth? That's not the point. The point is a great cover. <laughs> it is. I can say, broth hey, man, house? come to my broth house. Or soup house. No, you have to say broth so okay. they know it's the broth hole. You know what I mean? Okay. It's a super veg, <laughs> not, <laughs> not soup. But in the place, you'd be like, oh, great. What kind of broth would you like? And I'd be like, what kind of broth do you like? Hey. And you'd be like, I like clam chowder. You don't want that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Moyo's funny. What in the world did I walk into? <laughs> no, just, you know, you, we are in too deep. You know, Moyo. From the beginning. Yeah, I, I don't been know in how got this. I think we talked about family for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you guys, but I signed on the contract yeah, for the apartment. Congrats, I'm in, in the process of making it mine. Yeah. yeah. Make that brothel house, baby. Where where were you prior to this apartment? Where, where were you living? Oh, this parents? is another space that he has. What do you mean? Like, uh, oh yeah, I think Zoop said he lives in like a back house. His parents. Oh, had. okay, okay, something like that. So I didn't know if it was like I had an apartment. Well, he might have his own place and has that also. Zoop okay. has a bunch of places, bro. He's oh, he's, he's a, doing okay. Okay, out there in Sydney. Okay, so he said a square foot is a million dollars, but he's doing good out there. Hey, you know, hey, you guys. This is why you guys gotta hop in the lives and gotta hop in so we can talk. We to build a community, man. Uh, amongst the rhetoric, yeah, uh, you've done that a few times a day. That might got to stink. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How how are you with rejection? Uh, I handle rejection pretty good. Yeah. As far as what though? So um, just. Just something that you really, really want, and mm -hmm. you get a no. Mm -hmm. But Been do there. you have to convince them, or do you go to somebody else? It depends on how much I believe in the team up. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a relationship, a work, job thing, some kind of partnership, um, a role, you know? Mm -hmm. If I really, really believe that I'm best with this partnership, then I will go all out because... Um, you said the worst thing is a no. 
Mm-hmm. Like I've been told no before. Mm-hmm. Women didn't tell me no. Mm-hmm. Zero props. Still, pew 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 pew. pew. Mm-hmm. You got to shoot. So, you know what I mean, dude, we pitch all the time, and people say no. Yeah, you know, you just go like. But do you hit him with I told you so? Me? Yeah. No, I don't. Because if you like, I really think in the show Martin, mm-hmm. Pam should be the love interest, not Gina. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like, no. Well, if, if it was reversed, if mm-hmm. Gina is the love interest, mm-hmm. not Pam, mm-hmm. and then it doesn't work, mm-hmm. would you be like, would you? <laughs> I've, I've definitely been wrong before. Yeah. What about casting? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I've been wrong. I've been right, but mm-hmm. I've been wrong. I've been like, hey, man, you guys got that, you guys got that one right. You mm-hmm. know, great call. No. Because no. I would have fired that person, mm-hmm. or I've definitely, some casting choices, I'm like, hey, why? And then they show up, and I'm like, hey, great call. Mm-hmm. My bad. Good. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Because uh, you got to be able to admit when you're wrong. Um, but Rejection yeah. hurts, man. Rejection hurts because it immediately makes you alter your approach. Even though that particular person, it, it couldn't be for them. Right. But that same approach you use for that person who rejected you could work perfectly for the second person. But that's why it shouldn't hurt. You know? That's exactly why it shouldn't hurt because... You can do the exact same thing right, and mm-hmm. it's not that it's you. It's not that it's your presentation. It's, uh, a it's lot of times, it's, it's them. Mm-hmm. You know, so I can't. I can't take it personal when somebody says nah. You know, that's what that's what ruins people. Absolutely, me. Yeah, <laughs> it, I'm telling you, man. It's, it's because I know my I know my mind works quicker than my mouth. Yeah, and I'm trying to explain the bigger vision. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, I was telling Twizzlers earlier, it's like it's like explaining. Explaining a Tesla to somebody that have never seen a stagecoach. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm like, yo, so my mind is like, so what is the vehicle? You got to plug it up into, they like plug it up into what? Like, what do you drive? Drive? I have a horse. <laughs> it's like, okay. So there is a, after a horse, there is going to be a technology where there's a stagecoach that's going to be pulled behind. There's a quote, I think it's by Henry Ford. When he says, uh, if he would have asked people what they wanted, they would have asked for a faster horse mm-hmm. and not a car. Ooh. Right. So he's like people. It's a big thing about people don't know what they want until you give it to them. Absolutely. Right. So I don't I'm not sure what I've heard that quote before. But um, when you when Steve Jobs talks about like iPhones and mm-hmm. people talk about yeah Teslas and whatever else is happening and the space link that mm-hmm. these guys had the tubes right <laughs> like right. we talk about all these things and but it's just, it's the same when you're pitching shows you're like bro this is game changing yeah. like you guys gotta understand you have to be able to speak in a language people understand yeah. which is why we'll use a lot of shows right we'll be like yo this is such and yeah. such meet such and such right right because immediately because some people are just like okay oh okay and you have to especially by, like getting a chance to go pitch mm-hmm. i've been learning this a lot with people like story storytelling in general forget the story forget the action forget anything that happens i relate to people by emotion right if i can move your emotion i have you Mm-hmm. If I can make you feel sad, if I can make you feel inspired, if I can make you feel angry, but I can tell you about some time you're walking across a crosswalk and somebody gets too close and you're like, hey, man, you know right. what I mean? Me and you, can, we can share that right, right. relationship. I can say, man, growing up in the Midwest is crazy. You have a relationship with the Midwest. Absolutely. I don't have to say Michigan. Right. Right. So the more I build relatable, relatable right. So now I can like, you ever had that part when you, it doesn't make you so mad when you do mm-hmm. like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you now. Right. You know what I mean? You've done your homework right. on who you're talking Absolutely. to. Absolutely. You know, right. so a lot of that is, is is doing those things. So that's why a lot, I wear a lot of the Detroit stuff with the cartoon hats. People, they'll ask hey, you. Hey, Detroit. Hey, oh, man, you from Detroit. there? They, it won't even be that. I had a cousin, my cousin's sister. Yeah, yeah. They got a family over there. Oh, right. yeah. I'm, we're already family now. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So a lot of those things are just, I'm trying to find a story point. I'm trying to find an emotional arc mm-hmm. while I'm pitching my whatever or myself to somebody and i think it's the same thing i don't audition a lot for actors but when i see actors come in i don't see their own point of view i don't see their own emotional baggage Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. i want to know that this person existed before this i want to know this this is the last time 
And I think that when I did improv, this was a big thing. He always had to say, like, you always do this. Mm -hmm. Or I was like, where's this coming from? I don't think you've ever yeah, yeah. felt like this. But we established right. the present, the past Absolutely. immediately in our uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. And so improv was one of those things like, well, we're just meeting and yeah, yeah. we're setting the parameters yeah, yeah. right now. There it is. Yeah. Y'all what? What did they say? <laughs> no, let's come back. Uh, Y'all still loud. Oh. Nubs, man, this guy. Uh, I'll say more. I think if you know who you are, rejection shouldn't hurt, but isn't that easy sometimes? Man, do you not know who you are, Dion? Uh, I know who I am. Mm -hmm. Um, do you but really though? I I yeah. know who I, I know who I am. But the problem is, is I'm I'm always trying to prove something to someone but I'm always having to alternate my vision like you were saying to mm -hmm. to figure out how to swindle my way into what you already have and what you're familiar with just to kind of tease your fancy to say that this is where it's at right um I don't like I don't like alternating my vision um it's, it's like uh, Cause I'm thinking of several different ideas right now. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to my hip hop show, hip hop show, um, I'm constantly like, like bandwagging to what you guys already have, mm -hmm. and then trying to pull them over here versus saying, "This is what I have. Mm -hmm. Do you like it?" Right. So I'm like, it's kind of like your show, or this is this is, but it's kind of like with a twist of so 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 right, so. Right, right. And now that they're like, oh, so when they give a suggestion, like, oh, so you can we can go this direction. Like, we can. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, now I'm changing my vision mm -hmm. because you're adding things onto it. So I'm like, now I'm kind of. Well, it depends. Are you trying to make money? Or are you trying to have a? Because I think there's a difference between here's a project to sell and then here's a passion project. Right. Like if if it's my project, I want to mm -hmm. do this my way. Then it's it's whatever. Right. But when you say, hey, Chaz, uh, can we make X Y Z changes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, are you on board? Man. You do whatever you want to do. Let me tell you. Twill and I have a script. Uh huh. That we've been trying to sell for the longest. Yeah. We have to keep making changes. We had to keep making changes. Mm -hmm. After a point, I said, buy the script. Then we'll make the changes. Uh huh. I'm tired of making changes. Yeah. This baby needs a diaper rash cream. <laughs> <laughs> Changes and, and, are rash, and people will. They'll, they'll just keep asking you to do free yeah, work and not pay like, you. Man, just be like, uh, I don't know what to do with it. So let's not ask them to change it to to a Filipino guy mm -hmm. instead of uh, change his culture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's literally, you know, you're that. And that's the good thing about having a team of management is that they can tell you like, okay, we can do that, but uh, here's this amount for this, and here's this amount mm -hmm. for these changes, and do you guys want to acquire it and all this other stuff? Yeah. And then there's deals in place to change things, it's like three rewrites in a deal, or yeah. they can always come pay you off and have somebody else come in and blah blah. Yeah, I just, I just hate that fact in the beginning. You just do a lot for yeah. free, yeah, to get on. That's all work, even yeah. a nine to five. You're yeah. doing work for free and you can pay at the end. <laughs> well, because even after your two weeks, but like. I mean, and, and yeah, you can move up, right? You go like, oh, I can make more money if I can give up to supervisor, right? <laughs> like no, I'm talking about day money. one at the job. Yeah, you, you have to wait your two weeks. Free. Yeah, you you <laughs> gotta wait your two weeks to. Mm -hmm. This one is just years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish it was two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It'd be years, man. Uh, here we. Go. I'm I'm gonna keep ignoring Dirty Dion. What do you mean, Don? This dude loves saying Dirty Dion. Just accept your Dirty Dion. I'm not dirty. Chaz, you know me. Let's see. Oh, let's, I, I like when people try to read other people. This is fun. Let's see. Santa, I think Dion struggles with feeling not good enough, even though he's such an amazing, clever dude. He just needs more confidence. Oh, man. Thank you, Shannon. That's real. <laughs> you need more confidence, Dion? I do. Yeah? I do. Um, I, it's, it's like one of those things of... It's like one of those things of I can shoot my ass off. I can show in, you in the, in the gym mm. making threes. Mm-hmm. And I'm on one side of the court, mm -hmm. like, hey, y'all see this? <laughs> and they uh, like this, they on the side, like, uh, let me get that guy, let me get that guy, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. And it was like, 
Dion, you got it. They don't agree. <laughs> Why ain't nobody picked me up yet? Maybe yeah. I should go for some dunks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm changing my whole method now. Like, <laughs> Motherfucker. I got the arm in this. I got the arm in the rim, huh? I got the arm in the rim. And like, uh, let me get that guy right there in the suspenders. <laughs> I got the arm in the rim. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And they was like, go back to the threes. I did threes for six years. Yeah. You know what that means, though? What? This is what I, this is what I found out. Um, when I try to get picked, no one picks me. Mm -hmm. Right? The more I build on my own. <sighs> right? <laughs> because God literally protects us from ourselves. Ooh. You know what I mean? He's like, I can give you these things. I can give you these things. But you're going to hate it. Oh. I'm giving you everything you want. Trust me. Mm. I'm giving you every single thing. Just keep doing more of what you're doing. Keep Bars. getting better. Bars. Keep getting more clever. Keep, keep building your empire. You get a chance to build an empire. Mm -hmm. And it's all going to come together. Right? It's all going to come together. It always does. But God literally protects us from our own wants. I love that. Because he'll say, you'll say, I want this, I want that. He's like, great, I'm going to give you all that. Okay, but I'm gonna give you this foundation because you have all these skills. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna teach you how to be your own studio, mm. which is way better than working for somebody else's right. studio. Hundred percent. And then you'll be able to be like, "Great, I'm bringing my team on here." Yeah. Instead of having to take a paycheck, mm -hmm. because I see writers who I've helped make writers get staffed, right? Mm -hmm. And then I go like, "Huh, they're on these WGA shows making more than me now, right?" Mm -hmm. And I never go like, great, well, let me go send my stuff out. Let me go send this out. I just keep doing what I'm doing, right? I just keep going, I keep going. And I see all these things coming together, mm -hmm. right? I go like, okay, uh, you can go be a staff writer. I got passed up for being a staff writer on this Disney show. Mm -hmm. Pitch me to Nickelodeon, here's your chance to be a showrunner. Well, staff writer, right? <laughs> showrunner. Sure if I take this staffing job with Disney, I can't go do this Nick thing. right? It's like God be like, yeah, yeah. hey dog, I love it. You can go do this. I love it. Isn't that what you asked me for? I love it. Yeah, I be like, all right, I can. Can you take a little less now to have everything you want later? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. But I and, and I always ask like, hey, yo guy, hey, whatever you want to do, you let me know what we doing. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I got you, dog. Just sit your ass down. Stop getting in my way. I, like, I love that, man. That's <laughs> like, a word. I, I got you. Let me just sit That's down. a word, Chaz. On the Sabbath. <laughs> On the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit you with the Anna Labosha. Anna Labosha? Mm -hmm. I'm speaking in tongues. <laughs> oh, my you, homegirl. You've done that to me before. Anna, Anna Labosha. Labosha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. No Bluetooth. You are single-handedly, and I tell you this all the time. You do, man. Uh, one of the most annoyingly talented people creative funny you got it you know what i mean you you there's nothing you're lacking lack yeah and you know that i know so it's just time man it's mm -hmm. just it's coming yeah, it's coming and it's just putting I know everything it's together of course i know it's coming it's, it's many nights of frustration crying alone you know what you have what you got freedom bro yeah i'd be like dion i got the awesome this is dope it is <sighs> I'll be is. dying, bro. I'll be like, this is dope. Right. It is a lot of freedom. And, then, and you know what else you got? You got a Twilla. Yeah. I think see a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I got a shit outside. <laughs> you got a whole toilet? <laughs> you got a Twilla, bro. Yeah. She's not here, but. But I wish. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's amazing. Let me try to find yeah. a Twilla. Yo. Yo ain't he a Twilla. Your face went down. He said, because yo's like the American dream is to have a 95 and yeah, retire yeah. at 60. Mm -hmm. Yo's is now thinking about building her own career. We've been saying this shit yeah. for the longest. I'm mm -hmm. like, you keep working for cash to give you a fraction of your, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Nah. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, you guys have, you guys are on the same page. You guys have built incredible shit. So many people try to do this and fail. You're, mm -hmm. What year are you guys in? Uh, 10 years. Come on, man. 10 years, man. Come on, man. Hey, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all so much, man. I'm seeing the diamonds, the they giving you praises for showing, give me a word, man. Um, yeah, I will keep, I, I won't stop. I won't quit, but it's definitely frustrating. Um, my, my boy Nubs called me moist. Man of <laughs> man of integrity, standing tall. Hey, you need to sit down a shirt, dog. I didn't create that. Who did? Uh, somebody uh, at this uh, twelves. She gone. She gone. Um, there was a there was a guy at a uh, sermon 
who was like, I am moist. <laughs> and then everybody was like, Everybody was like, he was at a, like a church sermon. No, no, Pastor. <laughs> yeah. I am moist. And everybody was like, oh, oh you heard the gremlins? Oh. Like, I am a man of integrity standing tall. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the moist is a bad it interest. Is. It I'm is. moist right now. <laughs> Me too, Pastor. Mother, <laughs> will you hold on? <laughs> Mother <laughs> Green is always. Please. That's right. I'm moist too right <laughs> now, Pastor. Tell him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DM be getting so much flowers. Uh, he can't become a. He can become a florist. Flo oh, uh, florist. florist. I yeah, see what you did there, brother. I see what you did there with the mumbling, rumbling, scrambling. We all believe in you, Dion. You got to start believing in your own abilities. Listen, I do. I do believe in my own abilities. I do. Dion's written these books. He's drawing. I do. I like don't. Dion, and you're a doer. I, I do. I'm a talker. It. You be finishing shit. I finish. <laughs> when I say it's frustrating, is because I I complete an object, I complete something, and I try to sell it, and that becomes frustrating. Yeah, that's a frustrating process. Um, it's not like I'm just talking. Yeah. Um, I will. I will. It's, it's, this is what it's like. This is what it's like saying for my life. I went to school 15 times from kindergarten to 12th grade. I never got a diploma. <laughs> You should go back to school again, Dion. I was like, all right, I'm going back to kindergarten again. I go through all these years of process and try to figure it out. And it's like, can I get a diploma? And it was like, Dang. but then, but then you'll watch somebody <laughs> do yeah. some shit and skyrocket. You'll be like, how did Issa Rae? I did, I've done this. I've done that. But how did she? Get, how did her shit get hot? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I say. <laughs> I get frustrated, and it's like it's and, frustrating. It so when, when I get frustrated, I start to alternate my vision to kind of fit the mode to get in there. They'd be like, I just need for y'all to fund this. I need for y'all to pitch this or help me or push me. And it's like, and it's not y'all. Y'all have been supportive, but it's just the, 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 the masses of money. I need the money because I'm constantly investing in myself. Right. And that's the thing that's frustrating. Right. Um, so I'm not, I'm not doubting my abilities. It's just like, what, what formula do I need to switch or change? Um, Cause it, it, it gets old, bro. Like, <laughs> like this cycle and entertainment is like that. Like, it's yeah. just, dude. You seen cats who are hot when they're kids. You see cats who are yeah. hot when they're, you know, you have a season, and mm -hmm. then very few man make it like big yeah. all the time. Like the the Issa Rays are very rare. The Tyler Perrys are very mm -hmm. rare. There's a lot of cats out here. I got 14 years to hope to be as talented as you, Dion. Like, hey, man, I appreciate that, Nubs. You are talented. It's, a, it's really annoying. I, I know it. And that's no, that's not no arrogant shit. It's frustrating. Um, when I, when I see cats just sales. talented, I'd be like. Yeah. Um, we mm. got to wrap it up because okay. I got to do a uh, random ass with mm -hmm. oh, Twill's okay. ass. Okay. Not her ass, but Twill's as a person. Uh, uh, Twilla, can you tell the story of the, the moist man? Yes. It was at church, right? It was at a youth church event. A youth church event. A youth Okay. Yeah, I can hear this youth church event. It was actually <laughs> it was a it was a, a step team called Moist. <laughs> it was a step team called Moist. Right. This is this is Twilla's story. So. Oh, that's gross. So the guys come out wearing their men of integrity standing tall. Okay. <laughs> so these guys come out in their moist shirts. In uh -huh. their moist shirts. Okay. And they're like yelling, "Okay, Moist, who are we?" <laughs> We're moist. Men of moist. Men of integrity. We are moist. <laughs> and so I'm sitting with a bunch of my friends. Oh, boy. And our young adult pastor is like on the floor watching the team perform. Like He's, laughing or like literally? Well, we're about to, we're laughing in the stadium, like where we are. Right. Like, oh, God, they didn't think this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> our young adult pastor looks at us like. We are moist. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> and they had the noise. We are moist. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, <sighs> they didn't change their name. They didn't change their name. They just came back as moist. We are moister. <laughs> <laughs> we are men of integrity, standing tall, energizing revolution. <laughs> they changed the name up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, uh, I thought y'all was man of no. We, Next we, time. We are moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> Undeniably integrating. <laughs> like, why are you guys? Keep getting longer. Moyo said she thought that was uh, made up. No, man. That mouth sound. <laughs> you don't like the moist sound? That's their emoji. So, uh, Church of God in Christ. And moist. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. This is a full service today, guys. That's if you guys are on this feed, we're about to uh, end yeah. and then transition over to random ass combos with yeah. Chaz and Twilla because I won't be a part of it. Why not? Oh, well, oh my bad. I didn't. Uh, Why aren't you I guess a part I, of it? Because obviously she couldn't find nobody else. I got to help out with that. Uh, I'd rather talk about <laughs> 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 Uh, thank y'all so much. You want to wrap it up? Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching another episode of Lacking on the Shears. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna find some kind of uh, noise symbol. No, <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah, we do need a noise too. We need all that good stuff. Like, uh, welcome to another episode of Lacking on the Shears. Oh. <laughs> No. That's the black. That's, that's a, so the gross. Lacaroni. No, all right. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays, we'll be dropping Mondays and Thursdays. Catch the lives. Uh, ladies at tell me, I'm t- stealing yours. Live is at five ish, mm-hmm. and you do the ladies at eight ish on the Instagram. Eyes is on used t- used to. I'm not. Then, in, uh, I'm not consistent. And <laughs> and then uh, I miss Thursday, Wednesday. I miss one of those days because I had to pick away from the airport or divorce, so I picked. Love, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, check us out. And um, is that it? Is that, that everything? That is it, man. That's all, man. And for our sponsors, please, where are somebody you? <laughs> sponsor this? Who can sponsor this? Uh, Only Blue yo, Shoe. Uh, the 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 Lack Pack and the C minor citizens. If y'all want us to promote something, let us know. We That's will promote it. it on the show. We do it. Hey. Oh, I'm not doing this notebook. You're not doing notebook. Hand. I'm not You're accepting not notebook. it. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank y'all so much. To <laughs> the violent to the loop. That's like when you knock somebody out. To the loop. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>